say a very good afternoon to everyone and I'd like to extend a very warm welcome and thank you for coming to witness the marriage of Sam and Angela. Now before we begin, can I just ask, put your mobile phones onto silent or switch them off so they don't interrupt the service. That's the only thing I'm going to ask. Thank you. So my name is Susan Ramsey and I am delighted to be here to conduct Sam and Angela's wedding ceremony. And they are delighted that you are all here today as their guests and you are all family members and friends and I'd like to thank all of you for making your journey here to Sunderland with a very special mention to family who have travelled from Northern Ireland and from Scotland. Sam and Angela wanted the opportunity to personalise their ceremony with readings which share their feelings. They have written their own personal vows that they will say to each other, which mean something to them. And most of all, it is their wish that you just sit back, you laugh, relax, and just share their journey into marriage and they hope you will take something very special away with you today. So I believe our wedding party is now here. Would you all please be upstanding? Thank you. Are you happy for Angela to be married to Sam and will you give them your blessing today? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, would everyone take a seat now? Thank you. Thank you. You look beautiful. If you'd like to hold hands. Thank you. Now Sam and Angela, these are the hands of your best friend. They are strong and full of love for you on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills you. These are the hands that even when wrinkled and old will still reach for yours will still give you strength and will still give you the same unspoken tenderness that they always have. So these are the hands of your best friend. Never forget their touch. So thank you. <laughs> if you release hands, that's fine. So we have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives. But marriage is regarded as one that is so critical that we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. So why this moment? Well, love is a give and take relationship. It is having someone who teaches you about yourself, 
making you want to strive to be a better person, both for you and them. Someone who exposes their deepest vulnerabilities to you and trusts you with them. Someone you understand on a level as deeply as you understand yourself. A marriage is always a cause for celebration, no matter what is involved. It speaks of love and commitment, of future generations, of stability and maturity, and a desire to settle down. And I'm going to ask Alice to come forward and share a reading. Thank you. <laughs> You're surrounded by your loved ones and all are wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that's yours to tell. Born in Ballymena Hay in the land of what's the crack, we didn't think when Ange left for uni she'd find a hubby and not be back. <laughs> Dresses, flowers, decor and plans, all inspired from your love of Disney. And what better role models for the perfect day? Let's face it, who's Mickey without Minnie? <laughs> Take the time to enjoy today as your marriage finally begins. Look around and soak it up, the moment we are in. For this is where the magic starts, when you both say your vows. You pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. Sam, it wouldn't be a wedding without the groom getting some important advice. With Ange, whenever you're wrong, just tell her. Whenever you're right, think twice. <laughs> the constant uncertainty for the past year or two. Lockdowns were like a game of roulette. In years to come, when they ask, was the worth wait it? You'll both say, why I pet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alice. That was lovely. Everybody. Thank you. That was, that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. So we come to Sam and Angela's story. And what of their life together? Well, they met by chance on a night out on the 21st of June 2011, where they spoke randomly, and it turned out that Sam was with a work colleague of Angela. They became friends for two years, and Angela remembers they shared their first kiss two years <laughs> to the day of their first meeting. Took me a while. <laughs> a year of long distance followed when Angela was living in Northern Ireland and in 2014 she moved to Sunderland to be with Sam. They began living together for eight years, were engaged on Angela's birthday, the 24th of June 2019, and bought their lovely dog Bailey, who was with us today. <laughs> They both love watching football, even if they love different teams. <laughs> and they are happiest when they're chilling at home with a good film or a box set, and of course, spending time with Bailey. <laughs> taking him for walks on the beach, playing fetch in the park. Now they planned their wedding for the 19th of June, 2021. But of course, along came COVID. So they had to cancel the date, and they had to wait very patiently but thankfully, we're now all here to see their dream of a wedding finally come true. Now, I asked Sam what he admires about Angela, and they haven't told each other what's coming. So he told me many things that included her intelligence. He was envious of her self-discipline when it comes to study, and he's incredibly <laughs> proud of her academic achievements. She is beautiful. The work she does requires a level of compassion and empathy which he admires. How much she loves her family and her relationship with them. Her courage, the chances she's taken in her career and the courage that that has taken. Her ambition to rise in her career in a short time. He admires her love of animals, her <laughs> relationship with Bailey. <laughs> She is affectionate and the love she shows for their nephews and nieces. Her sense of humour, TV and movies matches well with him. The excitement and enthusiasm she has about anything. Her talent, amazing signing. We mentioned again the love of football. He just, he just wishes it was Sunderland. And of course he has supported and encouraged him to grow within his life. And now, what you admire about Sam. 
And the most thing he is, is kind and giving nature. He is caring and fun-loving, and she admires how he's always willing to help anyone. She knows that she can depend on him to support her through anything, and he's thoughtful and caring, and he makes her feel secure and loved. She loves how he is with his family, and she loves to see him have fun with his sister Kirsty and nephews Jacob, Theo, and Jude, and it shows how caring he is towards his family, and she has no doubt that he will be an amazing dad in the future. Someone's got to, I'm not going to <laughs> No plans yet. He has, that type, he has that type of old soul that has been here before, and she loves to hear him talk about plans for the future. He is her best friend and a great friend to have in your corner. She admits that she often tends to see the worst case scenario in everything, but Sam has the ability to make us see things clearly, comforting her with sensible solutions to anything that they may face. And basically she just loves spending time with him, even if it's time just doing nothing. So now Charlotte will read for us a lovely poem called The Giraffe and the Monkey. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> wherever we go, whatever we do, wherever there's me, I hope there's you. Now money is funny, it can make people odd, you forget to be happy and you live for your job. Fashion is a passion beset with a flaw. You can dress to excess but you'll always need more. And a muscle tone body may sound like a dream. But nobody is better than chocolate ice cream. <laughs> what I'm going to say is that happiness grows not through your wages or body or clothes, but in laughter and love and in sharing your life, in arms of another as husband and wife. So when you find someone who's weird, just like you, <laughs> who laughs when you're stupid and who makes us laugh too, when you sit on the sofa not hiding your flaws as imperfectly perfect as the hand that holds yours, when the fortune of kings or purse of a beggar won't change how it feels just being together, when a cuddle and a tin is all that you need, well then you find something quite special indeed. Wherever we go, whatever we do, wherever there's me, I hope that there's you. Thank you. Quite true though, not of that, quite true. And so now we come to the part of the ceremony where Angela and Sam will publicly declare their vow and commitment to each other. But before that, I've got a question for everyone. Do you all give Sam and Angela your good wishes and will you all support them in their journey through marriage? Can we have a yes? Yes! Wow! <laughs> well, so far so good, yes. <laughs> all right, Sam. Are you ready to enter into this partnership with Angela Telford, believing the love you share and your faith in one another will endure all things? I am. Thank you. Angela, are you ready to enter into this partnership with Sam Williams, believing the love you share and your faith in one another will endure all things? I am. Thank you. Sam, do you promise to support, respect, trust and cherish Angela to work hard at your relationship, face life's many challenges through all the years that life may bring. I do. Thank you. Angela, do you promise to support, trust and cherish Sam to work hard at your relationship and to face life's many challenges through all the years that life will bring? I do. Thank you. Now they're going to say their own personal vows to each other. Are you happy to go first? I am. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> with my whole heart, I take you as my wife. I promise to be faithful and honest and to cherish you always. I will support and encourage you, dream with you, and I'll always believe in you. I will laugh with you and cry with you and will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst, through the difficulty and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there for you. You are my forever sunshine. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Thank you. Now it's your turn. I'll take that off you, thank you. <laughs> uh, Sam, um, I take you to be my best friend, uh, my faithful partner and my one true love. 
I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through the good times and the bad. I will be forever be there to lift you up when you're down and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. I'm so looking forward to being married to you and to spend the rest of my life with you and just be happy together, even though I'll do your head in most of the time. Oh, that's <laughs> That's expected. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, isn't it? Oh, that's yeah, fine. that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> it's, okay. it's all part of the package. Yes, yeah, it's part of the package. Okay, type two, exchange rings. Now, the wedding ring is a circle. It has no beginning and it has no end. It is a symbol of love that is given and comes right back round again. They are worn on the third finger after the ancient Greek belief that a vein in that finger runs straight to your heart. And these rings represent the vows that you will make to each other today, and as you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are as individuals, but you, who you are as a couple. Kieran, would you like to stand next to me, please? Thank you. And give Sam Angela's wedding ring. Skinny one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you hold the ring over her finger and repeat after me. Angela, I give you this ring. Angela, I give you this ring. As a reminder of the promises. As a reminder of the promises. We have made today. We have made today. It represents our friendship. It represents our friendship. Everlasting love. Everlasting love. And the way we fit perfectly. And the way we fit perfectly. Into each other's lives. Into each other's lives. When you wear it. When you wear it. Remember, I'm always by your side. Remember, I'm always by your side. Thank you. If you put the ring on her finger. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, if you give, Sam, um, sorry, Angela, Sam's ring. Thank you. Thank you. And you can take a seat now, Kieran. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. If you hold the ring over his finger and repeat after me. Sam, I give you this ring. Sam, I give you this ring. As a reminder of the promises. As a reminder of the promises. We have made today. We have made today. It represents our friendship. It represents our friendship. Everlasting love. Everlasting love. And the way we fit perfectly. And the way we fit perfectly. Into each other's lives. Into each other's lives. When you wear it. <laughs> when you wear it. Remember, I'm always by your side. Remember, I'm always by your side. You put the ring on his finger. Thank you. Well, congratulations to you both. Sam, this is your moment. You can kiss your bride. Thank you. <laughs> for your patience thank you so just some final words very obvious words but I really do hope the two of you have a very long and happy life together so may I introduce Mr. and Mrs. Williams Hello.